are so many thoughts going through my head of what I could talk about today for our devotional. But the main words that keep coming back to me are trust and faith. When there are so many uncertainties that each day brings, those are the words that bring me back to who has this all in his loving, caring, capable hands. It may seem that some of us feel stuck, like the protagonist in a story that isn't sure what is going to happen next. Thankfully, we are in God's story, the ultimate author. And with him, we can have faith throughout every day that he knows each of us and our purpose, and that he loves us and has a plan through all of this. Remember, he is the God of the Israelites. If you don't remember their story, it had plagues, wars, invasions, you name it, they experienced it. And yet when they had faith and they turned their eyes on God, he would defeat their enemies. He would heal their nation and they would feel God's presence again. We can't forget to be thankful, to trust, to have faith in the most high God throughout this part of our story. I'd like to use an excerpt with a few adaptations made by me that I saw on Facebook from Ann Voskamp. There's a whole bunch of us finding it hard to sleep at night who are sort of stuck here in the middle of the story, God, and we don't know what the next chapter holds. We've got no idea when the rioting will stop, how this pandemic is going to play out, or how our hearts are going to get broken, or when, or what the doctor could end up saying tomorrow, or how the kids will turn out, or what's on the next page, or the one after that. What to do when you're stuck in the middle of the story? Well, honestly, it's easy to feel at the end of our rope. And you pull us close, real close. I'd never forget you, never. Look, I've written your names on the backs of my hands. From the message version of Isaiah 49, 16. You've etched the very letters of our name, of who we are, right into you. You haven't forgotten us or this chapter of this story. And if you hadn't forgotten us, we're not about to go forgetting that your stories always work out in the end. And if things aren't working out quite yet, it just means we're not quite yet to the end. We'll literally practice our faith. We'll practice saying thanks in the middle. Faith thanks God in the middle of the mess. Faith thanks God in the middle of the night. Thanks God in the middle of the story. Because it believes in the relentless goodness of him who will not stop writing till there's good at the end of this story. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for our story. We thank you for everything that we've experienced in these last months, God, because without it, we wouldn't be turning our hearts back to you. And so God, I pray that throughout all of this, we will remember that you are the author of this story, that you know the ending, and that God, all of the evil, all of the darkness, God, that you have already defeated it. Help us to see that light. Help us to see Jesus and to show Jesus to everyone around us. God, we love you. We thank you for this day. And we just pray, God, that we will continue to turn to you and to seek purpose through you, God, in our lives. We love you and we give you all the glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you.